asking his students to read and not always teaching to prepare the students for Florida standardized tests. You are still my favorite teacher. We miss you. Seventh grade English teacher Elliot Herman never got to say goodbye to his students. Uh, Mr. Herman, I am very devastated you left because you were my favorite teacher. Herman claims he was forced out of his position at Franklin Academy, a charter school in Palm Beach Gardens. The teachers want to teach more, but we're told not to. He was teaching his class The Giver, a book he taught the class last year, too. But this year, the school removed The Giver from the curriculum. When I questioned why, they said, well, we don't want you wasting time reading in class. So Herman had his students read the book at home and asked them to be ready to analyze the book in class. But after his most recent in-class review, he learned that the school didn't want that either. Why are we just teaching to a test? It's not teaching them to understand or think. Herman decided to explain the abrupt change to the parents in his weekly email. I knew I was taking a risk by talking about it and, and letting the parents know. I was just trying to create a dialogue and a conversation with them about this. A decision Herman believes led to his termination. And while the school wouldn't discuss the situation, the parents did, both online and to our cameras. My son looked forward to language arts. Like Jennifer Bergeon, who says her son was devastated by Mr. Herman. Uh, we would read the book The Giver together and discuss it. And that she believes novels should be part of the curriculum. It's part of processing and analyzing literature, and I think that can only benefit the students in testing and in life. And Franklin Academy Charter School told me it does not discuss employee personnel decisions, but they did tell me Mr. Herman was an at-will employee, and that novels are not against the curriculum as long as it helps students demonstrate skills related to writing, listening, and reading for information. Reporting live in the newsroom, Melissa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5. New information.